Hello, humans and cephalopods. My name is Scood, and welcome back to Terraria Calamity Mod. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful, scootiful day. I'm very excited to be playing more of this. I'm just waiting for it to load up right now. Otherwise, you'll be looking at a blank screen. Fuck it, here's my face. Fuck it, let's, let's spin my face the other way because I don't look this way. This isn't me. This isn't the true me. This isn't the me that you need to see. This isn't the me that hides in a tree. Let's flip it around, and here I am. Oh, that's so unnatural. That looks bad. That looks wrong. It works on the other screen. It works on the other screen, but not so much this one. Like, on here? That's fine. But when you're seeing that closet over to my left, that just looks weird. Oh, I f literally just moved my monitor and everything fucked up. Why did that happen? <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Yo, welcome in, Shield Maiden. How you doing, Emmy? Why did everything just fuck up when I moved my monitor? Or was that the mod opening? What the fuck just happened? Anyway. Let's switch over to this scene now. The real calamity is the tech, exactly. Tech issues are always trouble. Ugh, so excited to play more of this. Let's see, is it showing up on stream, though? Yes, it is, okay. Are we good? Is it lagging at all right now? Are we lagging? Is it laggy? I don't know what's going on, anyway. Well, it seems to be fine. Alright, here we are. Here's our beautiful house where we last left off. So, I think what I want to do now... I think I'm just gonna build up this house. Get more NPCs, just for the time being. My inventory's very full. It's time, yo! Welcome in, how you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Okay, let's uh let's throw out some random stuff. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff from the boss, and I didn't take the time to look at what I was actually picking up. It's every Terraria house. I'm just really good at Terraria. How's our map looking so far? We still got a lot to go. Listen, I can make some decent houses later. Right now we're only worried about NPC housing. I'll worry about the details later. Okay, here we go. Put some acorns out there. Oh, fuck. What am I doing? Alright. So, we need proper storage, right? <clears throat> so, let, let's first look at what I picked up. Let me call first. Okay. You only beat the slime boss? I mean, I can go beat King Slime real quick. Just to, I don't know, prove a point or something. <clears throat> Why do I have such a cough right now? <clears throat> Star Seabound Staff. Coming to Brittle Star to fight for you. <clears throat> That's not that great. Aquatic Discharge, melee damage. Enemies release electric sparks on hit. Sounds cool. Oh! Ugh. You like it a little? <laughs> okay, I don't really like Aquatic Discharge. It's definitely... Better damage, but it doesn't attack as fast as what I currently have. Uh, we got the Desert Scourge Mask. I hate it. Hard Luxor's Gift. Weapons fire unique projectiles based on the damage type they have. Some weapons are unable to receive this bonus. That's weird. We have an Ocean Crest. Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. 
Oh, you know what? I'll put that in my, um, the vanity slot, and I can swap that out when I need to. Sand Cloak. Press none to increase 25% of your maximum stealth. To create a protective dust veil, which provides plus 6 defense and plus 2 life gen. This effect has a 30 second cooldown before it can be used again. Oh, I just have to press none. Okay. Doesn't really seem like something I'm going to use, though. Plus one to max min minions. Minions attacks inflict electrified. Make stealth strikes inflict armor crunch. Deal 10% more damage and cause one less unit of stealth. I'm not going to mess with the stealth mechanic, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to... Anything that says stealth or minions, I'm just going to sell. I'm sure they're fine weapons. I'm sure they're useful. Uh, I don't like the Seabound Staff. I don't like the Aquatic Discharge. Uh, I'll hang on to this one. I, it might be useful down the road. Victory Shards, not sure what they do. I have more summons for the boss. Uh, Sandy Angling Kit has a chance to contain various fishing gear. We got two fishing potions, okay. The Desert Scourge. The Great Sea Worm appears to have survived the extreme heat and has even adapted to it. What used to be a majestic beast swimming through the water has now become a dried up and gluttonous husk, constantly on a voracious search for its next meal. Eye of Cthulhu, Cthulhu that eye, how peculiar. I sensed it watching you more intensely as you grew stronger. Um, We have the Desert Scourge trophy. You know what? You can have that. Congratulations. Prism shards, whatever they do. Navy stone. Oh, that's the um, the stone from the the little ocean area that we or the water area we were at. Can I make anything with navy stone? Fishing rod. A sh oh, furniture items. That's kind of dope, actually. Cool looking uh, furniture set. Aquamarine staff. I see. Sea shine sword. Oh, sea prism. Oh no, prism shard. Riptide. A very agile yo-yo. Shoots an aqua sword beam. Okay, so I'm guessing I use prism shards to make the sea prism thing or whatever, right? Yeah, right here. Five of them makes the sea prism at an anvil. A tribaluminescent tri etimer? Okay. Aqua shard shotgun wave skipper. Oh, so many things. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do something. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, if I'm being honest. There's so many things to keep in mind, so many things to consider. And that I don't even know where to begin. That's my plants and stuff. This is my ores and stuff. Oh yeah, this was my storage area. Accessories, materials. Okay, materials. Uh, throw you in there. The WTF Calamity can take this. And these. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I'll just throw a bunch of stuff in here. Victory shard? Oh yeah, let's see what the victory shard's about. Uh, you. I'm guessing these are all just like the things that tell me the lore about each thing. I can make Star Fury, I can make the Enchanted Sword. I literally don't even have to craft this, I just... I can just look at the crafting recipe and see the the information right here. Victide bar. Oh, victory charger for the Victide bar, which is the next bar, maybe? 
Interesting. I'll put that in the materials chest for now. Um... I'm gonna put make a, a blocks chest. Cactus, I guess, would be a material. I'm I'm gonna sort all this out eventually to make it make a little bit more sense. But right now we're just throwing things where I can. I, I apparently can't spell blocks. Yeesh. Um. Consumables. I'm gonna put consumables and not really know what goes here for now. I think I have potions right here. You can throw these in here. Alrighty. This is going pretty well. All things considered. We're gonna just do the most basic Terraria house possible. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time with it. You know, it's gonna be exactly the same all the way up. So how's everyone's day going? Anyone do anything interesting today? What have y'all been up to? Tell me, tell me a story. Tell old Uncle Scoot a story. A story about your life. Okay. Light this place up. I finished reading Tokyo Ghoul the other day. Yesterday, I think. I'm reading Tokyo Ghoul Re now. Very interesting. Not a bad series, all, all things considered. Explaining Kirby lore to a good friend. Oh boy, that's always fun. Two, three, four, and then walls. And now you're simply drifting, drifting through life, or like in a car, like Tokyo Drift. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry, me. Total beginner to the franchise, so it's been fun. Yeah, explaining Kirby lore to people who had no idea that Kirby is such a dark game is always a delight. They're like, wait, what do you mean? It's like a, there's like a, a hive mind that's controlling the universe. And you just have to sit there and smile like, oh, you sweet summer child. There's so much you don't know. Now, 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 now. You're moderately into the franchise? Oh yeah, definitely play more because it's wild. It's a, it's a fun ride. I just realized I don't even have Hermes boots. It's the most dark one you've played? Oh, they're all dark. Oh, honey. I would love to play the new one. I could stream it, I guess. If there's interest for it, I could make it one of my stream games. I say if there's interest. I know there's always going to be interest for whatever I decide, honestly. You guys have been really cool about like just following me no matter what I do. Which is really nice. Like, you guys support me, and I appreciate it. I don't really want the Desert Scourge mask at all. I'm just going to toss that. Yeah, you guys are really making me want to play it. But why is that... Why did that do that? That's weird. 
Sir Streamer deserves. I mean, I would love to play a Kirby game. Are you kidding me? I Kirby's one of my favorites. I would be a okay with that. Sir Streamer. <laughs> okay, we need a better axe because we're still on copper. Um, I can make more crimtan bars. Is that enough to give me a new axe? That's a hammer. Uh, no. What is that supposed to be? Bloodlust cl cluster? Ugh, can't even speak. Uh, I guess we'll go for platinum. You'd love to see Kirby 100%? By which you mean you'd love to see me 100% it, or you'd 100% love to see me play it? Because I'm down for either, if I'm being honest. Ah, oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's go into the underwater area. The Sea King? Okay. Why not both? Whee! Oh, I love I love that sandstorm in a bottle. Yeah, listen, I'm an achievement hunter. I need to start, like... Adding that, like, achievement hunting. What oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. I need to start doing more achievement hunting, like, on my streams, you know what I mean? I need that to be, like, part of my thing, part of my spiel, you know? The fuck was that? Wait, 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 wait. Rot dog? The fuck is a rot dog? Okay, while you're doing that, let me see. Looks like Edwin and Dale are throwing a party. Good for them. We're gonna dig straight down right here. And this will be our entry point. Straight down, no stopping. Just a perfect tunnel right down to the area. I love that it shoots through the ground. That's so useful. Yeah, I mean, would one of you do me the favor, if you're feeling up to it, no pressure if you're not, of putting Kirby and the Forgotten Land in the suggestion box channel, just do comma suggest Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and then I can add it to my game list later, because I'm not going to remember to do it if I don't have it written somewhere. Okay, we got an arms deal. What is that? Stormjaw staff? Okay. Eight summon damage. Dude, my current one has like 26 summon damage. Thank you, though. And then I can put it in my uh, voting channel after I clear out a space. I have a couple... Amber Crawler. Oh, nice. Uh, I have a couple of games that I want to add to that channel soon. We'll see what the priority order becomes, because... I also want to start doing games on my, uh, my other channel as well. If you guys don't know, I started a, a Let's Play channel that's going to be separate from my main channel. So I have my Scoot channel, like how I've been doing, like, uh, one-off videos so far. That's what my main channel is gonna be. It's gonna be, like, random skits and stuff, random, like, main content, like, w tier lists, wh whatever. And then stuff like Dark Souls and whatever, and my playthrough type stuff is gonna be on its own channel going forward. So that's the deal with that. Alright, here we are. So what's this circle down here? But that being said, I have a lot of ideas of games that I want to play on that, you know? Okay, we got the Dryad now. Cool. Okay, so those are the prison shards.
a giant clam just spawned. Got a demolitionist. Oh, there's a... Um, there's a railroad track there. Oh, I don't even have to mine them. I just... No, I do. Hold on, your boy got a sneeze. Give me a sec. Never mind. I guess not. See, I don't know what's what's worth picking up and what's nothing, you know? The biome is beautiful, though. I love the music. I love the visuals. I assume that I want to pick up these prism stones. Wait, are these just sea prism? They are. Oh, I want that, don't I? That's like the uh, the ore of this area, I guess. Very cool. I thought it was just the shards that I was getting here. No, but all this is important. So, my grappling hook is breaking them, but my weapon does not? Is it because it's attacking too high? Weird. Still not sure what, uh, what makes that break. Like, what the defi deciding factor is. So what is this area called? Does this biome have a specific name to it? Because I am in love with this, like, undersea, like, ocean cave kind of vibe. The Sunken Sea. Ooh. How mysterious. Okay, I have a really solid plan for mining out the next one. Give me those prism shards, baby! Okay. Okay, so I have a plan. I have an idea. You ready? There we go. That's a little bit better. That went so much faster. <laughs> I'm br I'm brilliant. I'm just I'm honestly so smart. All right. Ghost bell. Let's kill you. Ooh. Another laboratory. Oh, and it blocks the water. That's dope. Security field emitters will vap vaporize all unauthorized equipment and personnel. Please leave personal effects in the designated lockers off site. This also means do not bring any family members who are not enlisted as personnel. Okay. Fine, you fuck. I'm, go I'm breaking into the water, though. Any reason to this? No, this is just a display. It's a beautiful little aquarium. Why am I... Why am I breaking that? You know what? I'm sorry. How terribly rude of me. There we go. Okay, so those are chests down there, aren't they? So I want to go down there. <clears throat> Like, I guess I could just break in. 
Okay. God, you're so obnoxious. You know, this beautiful laboratory and all, but I fucked up. It didn't even break anything in the laboratory. Fuck. Uh, there's got to be a better way to deal with those things. Oh, man. No, I don't... Do I care about that? I don't know. Maybe I do. Dradon's log. Study to the unsunken aquatic life. Oops. I, I didn't read any of that. Preserved for millennia, a paradise for the living beings who sought shelter in prehistoric seas. They remain untouched by evolution, save for their adaptations to the oxygen-starved waters and dim crystals, continuing to thrive. One mystery which continues to escape my understanding, however, is how large some of the creatures have become. There was a blatant lack of nutrition and oxygen in the caves, and yet... The marine life in these caves do have eyes, though they are barely functional. Dulled by lack of use and milky white upon observation. On their tough, gnarled hides, crystals find an easy purchase and grow in great numbers, providing the creatures protection. Perhaps another adaptation to the life they have adopted. The most striking wonder is within their bodies. In specimens dissected, I have noticed that the mineral is buried into their very digestive systems, and perhaps through some chemical process, pass nutrients into their sluggish hosts. A peculiar yet entirely beneficial interaction. A specimen which has developed a grand size. All right, that was unexpected. Um, we had a very big lightning, a very close by, and it completely reset my computer. But we're back. I'm just rebooting everything right now. We are back. Sorry about that. Yeah, storms, exactly. We're lagging like fucking crazy, aren't we? Oh, okay, we have like encoder issues going on here. Hmm. How do I fix this problem? No, nope, it seems to be okay now. Probably because my computer's still starting up. It was confused, like, why is everything falling apart? Please help me. Oh, God. My computer didn't know how to handle it. Sorry about that, everyone. Let's get the game booted back up. We were in the middle of reading some lore, and it just like, nope. All right. And let me just check. Thank you, Damien, for suggesting Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Yeah, there's a lot of different games I would love to do playthroughs on, especially now that I'm doing this other channel. I'm really excited to start doing <laughs> the clam lore was too strong. Oh, uh, you get your you get your little intro again. Wonderful. Um, yeah, there's so many things I want to do with this new channel. I'm so fucking excited to get started on it. Right now, it's just an empty channel with playlists to my main playthroughs. On, like, my main channel. So, 
Oh, it was Terraria starting up that fucked up my aspect ratio on everything. That's annoying. God, that's so annoying. Everything's on the wrong screen now. Get over there. Oh, we're like... Constantly lagging. Why is that? My bi It's not my bitrate, is it? No, my bitrate's not... Hmm. I'll have to look into that later. I have to maybe change my encoder. I love thunderstorms. I think thunderstorms are fantastic. They bring me a lot of joy in the world. Alright, here we go. Oh, look, it's a party! Look at all these items that these people have that I don't have yet. Rule Majed the Orchid. It's a developer item. Summons a never forgotten friend. I can also buy a band of star power. I can buy a nature's gift. Interesting. Look, can one of you look into that for me? Um, this item right here. Rule Majed Orchid. Orchid, right there. What does that do? It says summons a never forgotten friend. It's equipable. It's a material. It's a developer item. Is that something I should buy? Who are you? I'm gonna survive. Oh, what's the dude? The ocean dude. Snap clam. Sand dollar. Way washer. Coral cannon. It summons a pet. Oh, okay. Maybe I should get that then. I love pets. Uh, urchin flail. Amedeus's trident. Shoots homing whirlpools. Magical conch. Summons a hermit crab to fight for you. I like my death stare rod a lot. Polyp launcher. Some of the polyp bunch and launches coral chunks at nearby enemies. I can also buy guilds potions. Buy three of those. Uh, you sell spelunker potions. That's dope. That's so cool. All right, yeah, we're gonna buy this. It's a little pupper. Oh, he summoned a pupper. Paintball gun, cool. Oh, it's a puppy. It's a puppy. It's a little bit too real for me, though. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? It's a little too real. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I lost a bit of progress during that, apparently. So I'm gonna have to go back to where I was. <gasps> it's a puppy with wings! With bat wings! Okay, I love it. I love it. I take it back. It's not too real. It's incredible. Your mom plays the flute during thunderstorms? That's dope as hell. That That's, that's like some spirit fairer shit right there. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Okay, we still have my little elevator. Good. So we didn't lose too much progress. I think we just have to finish mining out those prism things that we found. I think it didn't save that progress. Okay, cool. Not gonna use the gills potion just yet. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, it's such a beautiful biome. I adore this. Oh, I see exactly where it left off. Okay. So yeah, we gotta go back to that laboratory again. Very nice. Die! Oh, this is such a beautiful biome!
Get in there. Ooh. You're gonna lurk? All right, stay cute and cool. I will do both of those. Um, I don't wanna do this. Same way I did it before. All right, let's finish reading about the clam. A specimen which has developed a grand size and inexplicably impressively impressive psychic abilities. What is most curious is its strong connection to its lesser kin. Without any noticeable communication, when it comes under threat, other mollusks rally to its aggressor and begin attacking. Is this perhaps the very first signs of a higher life form, the evolutionary link hidden away in the sunken sea? Or a self-sacrificial fluke, which would lead to their destruction if they inhabited any other any area other than these pacified caverns? Yeah, this biome is beautiful. Okay, what else we got here? A schematic. Finely detailed diagrams of numerous devices and weaponry dance across the holographic screen. The weaponry I supply to the workers of the laboratories is weak, hardly suited for battle. However, they suffice for self-defense against any lab me mechanisms or creations which may have gone rogue. Uh, for those who think themselves powerful, search the upper bounds of this planet's atmosphere for a structure similar to that of a sunken seas. I will know by the end if you are worthy of battling my creations. Picking this item or holding it in your inventory permanently unlocks new recipes. Cool. I'll take these. Sure. Sure. I want to know what's over here, but... Got him. What is this? What the f Charging station. Oh, I already knew what that was actually, to be fair. You can stay there. Do I want whatever's in there? What is this? Oh, that's navy plate. No, thank you. All of you die. What's up, buddy? Haha, -ha, your slow turning is your downfall. Oh, that's a cool little crystal thing over there. Endurance potion, nice. So cool. Yeah, you know, you know I'm getting that. Is this the prism? It is. Give me that C prism, baby. I don't have any more gel in my inventory, otherwise I'd make more of the bombs. I see a heart crystal. Look up whatever looks interesting? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Whatever catches your interest. Don't necessarily have to do it for my sake, but if you're like, hmm, I wonder what this is for, or I wonder, like, oh, what's the next boss or something. And if you want to guide me, you can, but don't feel like it's something that you need to do, you know? It's just a, at your own enjoyment. Um, fuck that, actually. I don't need any of that. Don't need navy stone. Cool. Uh, where do I want to go from here? I think we just keep exploring this area. Oh, they dropped navy stone. Okay. Oh, why, why did the why did the why did it start flooding over there? Why are we what I didn't do that, did I? 
Oh, well, that's less than ideal. Well, we're gonna have a lot more air pockets now, at least. I kind of want to see this get flooded. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. All the poor robots are like, no. Get me out of the water. Now it's flooded. So how much? How many more air pockets do I have up here now? I wonder. I have no idea why the water decided to just start flooding there. Oh, the water physics are so weird. Oh, party time's over. You hate to see it. The water's so funky. Did I find the biocenter lab? I'm yeah, I'm guessing that's what that was. Oh, there's an aqua chest. Let's go. And it was that bat statue. Flippers. Flippers are cool to have. You know, I'm gonna actually equip them right now. Instead of the sandstorm in the bottle, we'll, we'll swap them out. Do you, it's a good idea to take the charging stations? I mean, alright, I can go back for it. And power cell factories? Okay. It's notable enough to say it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back for him. There's also a giant clam here. Let's kill that real quick. Die! You fool. Let's... Die, you fool! We got a pendant and a giant pearl. You have a light aura around you. Enemies when the aura is slowed down does not work while a boss is alive. It provides a small amount of light in the abyss. A quibble periodically rains down prism shards that can briefly stun enemies. Interesting. Let's do that instead. Oh, that's cool. I also missed this heart crystal before. You can create something that looks crazy with a charging station as the recipe. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things that neither of us understand while we're working through this, and I think that's the fun of it, so... We'll figure it out. As we go. Like a brain coral down there, too. Dope. Oh, how did I miss all these heart, heart crystals? Okay, this prism shard thing is cool as fuck, but like... Oh, provides water breathing. I'm stupid. Why am I using the gills potion? Okay, um... You said to take this station, right? Charging station, and also these power cell factories. I think I have a couple at, back at base, but... It doesn't hurt to have more, maybe? I don't know. They stack, so I don't see the harm in it. It's needed to summon some bosses. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm very, very open to backseating in this playthrough because I have no idea what anything is. And I know you don't either, so... Yeah, share away with whatever you find.
Another giant clam has spawned right in my path. Yeah, maybe we'll get something else cool. You turned, you asshole. And goodbye. No? We just got the same item. Okay. Okay. This is a little bit faster than swim. It's much faster than swimming. Let's see where this takes us. Right. Oh. Superior trident. Don't really care for tridents. I'll take the dynamite, the silver, flaming arrow. Eh. Water walking, coin, danger sense. Um, I think it's time to pull out the piggy bank. That I, the fucking dog is scaring me every time. Okay, apparently the technical next thing to explore is the Sulphur Sea, which spawns during Acid Rain. I don't know what any of that means. What? It happens randomly, and it the biome spawns? Oh, that was a trap. Fuck you. Why am I... Oh, I'm poisoned. Prism back? Yeah, let's kill a prism back. Do you also give me prism shards? They do. The sulfurous sea. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to begin looking for that, if I'm being honest with you. Like, do I have to be in a certain area? And hope for the best? Or, oh, I'm guessing it's like a meteor, right? It's like a meteor. It'll spawn randomly, and once it spawns, the biome is there. And I can just go to it. That's what I'm thinking it is. Oh, this is so cool down here. I love this biome so much. So fucking cool. And we are no longer in the biome. Whoa, what is this? Oh my god, a railroad that goes through an underground house? That is so cool looking. In a granite biome, no less. Oh, that's so dope. All for an enchanted boomerang and a goddamn gravitation potion. Oh, it spawns on world creation, so it already exists somewhere in my world. Oh, is that what you're trying to say? Oh, and there's a marble, uh... A little marble hut down there, too. Or not marble, uh, granite. Is that not a platform? No, it isn't. I'm just dumb. There's a door right there. God damn it. Eh, why not? So wait, did I go to the other side of the... I did. Oh wait, I never, I never finished this direction. This is dope. I love Terraria and having more biomes is so fucking cool. Oh, underground jungle. Okay, uh, switching these out. Switch these out. Oh my god. Eh, yeah, why not? Loot away, Bucky! 
A toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. There it is. And a goblin tinkerer? Yo, what? Summon level meter? Rogue le oh, sh there's meters that show my level on different things? Okay. Yeah, I just got the acid rain. So I can get rocket boots, but I don't have... I don't even have the, um... Whatchamacallit right now? Hermes boots. I can't even combine them. That's funny. Apparently this is pretty difficult. Oh, what what is? The, um... The sulfurous sea? Okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go look for it. Uh, I, surprisingly, I actually already need to build up more housing. So let's do that, and then I'll go search for it. Is it a surface level biome, or is it underground? Also, I really gotta pee. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, where did I put my wood here? I also have an empty chest here. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Where's my wood? Oh, you know what? I probably... Here, let me also sort some stuff. I have a blocks chest. I have a seed chest. Uh, that's a material... Material, potion, block, block. Okay. Accessories, I'll drop these in. I guess I don't really need Cloud in a bottle, do I? Because I already have Sandstorm in a bottle. I'll drop one of them in the garbage. And then in case I need it later, I, I have the other one. Uh, you, 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 you. Uh, that's garbage. The sulfuric skies begin to clear. Okay. My rocket boots in there. Uh, we'll put furniture stuff here. I I'm definitely gonna be sorting this all out a lot better later. Do I have weapons? That's fine. Enchanted boomerang is a material. That's interesting. Uh, I can probably make a better weapon with it. Uh, consumables. I'll also throw bombs and stuff in there for now. Again, this is all very temporary. Let me put the torch there. Very temporary as I figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, furniture, material... I guess that would go in the plants chest. Material. Furniture, furniture, furniture. Material. Accessory, consumable. Material, consumable. Why, why do I have those in there? I want to use glow sticks. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom.
I, I get like really, really like f hyper focused when I play this game. So I, I'm not really saying much right now. Okay, so we gotta find this sulfuric thing. Let's rename this plant stuff. I also have to do all this shit. God damn it. All right. What can I quick stack? What can I get away with? There's all the wood that I was looking for before. So the sea prism, right? How do I use it? Mollusk husk? Oh, that's for that. I do need navy stone for these things too, though. Okay, that's all the furniture. But weren't there like... Stormfront Razor? What the fuck? God, there's so many things to look into. So much things to look- so many things. You know, I'll be honest with you. I'm just overwhelmed. So, I'm not gonna think into this too much. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna woof, apparently. Thank you. Thank you, dog. We'll put the, these in the WTF Calamity. Actually, that one's not a WTF. These... this one... These are accessories. I know what these do. Traveling merchant. Cool, cool, cool. These definitely go on the WTF Calamity one. This is a consumable. Uh, and a weapon. Okay. Fucking hell. That, that was uh, <laughs> a lot to do. My brain is like fried right now. Frostberry, you will freeze enemies near you when you are struck. You are immune to chilled. Nah. Yeah, I'll just hang on to them for later, and once I'm ready to look into hard mode stuff, I can just go back for more materials if I need to. We're doing the most boring possible house because I'm still just overwhelmed with things to do. Okay, you know what? We're gonna actually just do a crafting table right here. And do two tables, three chairs, Two doors and walls. Okay, there we go on that. You know, my heart breaks at how uninspired this building I'm doing is, but, like, at the same time, I really don't have time to fucking, like, deal with this. Welcome to your uninspired hotel. Population? All of these fuckers. Right here. All right, so we're gonna look for the sulfuric sea, yeah? It's literally either left or right. We'll start with the right. Let, let's just explore, we know that the jungle is to the right because we found the underwater jungle. But let's 
just we, we we let's go to our world limits, you know. Excuse me. I really need to get my hands on some Hermes boots. Let's be real. This is uh this is painful. <laughs> There's also so many, like, whatchamacallit, so many accessories in Calamity that I'm just over here, like, not sure which ones to use, which ones are worthwhile, what I want to build towards. It's it's so much to take in. So, wait, I did see the jungle already, actually. This is not news to me. It was just a very small jungle that's been... Corrupted by the crimson, which is really unfortunate Though I guess surface jungle doesn't matter as long as I have oh, there's a chest there As long as I have a good underground jungle, you know All right, sure I'll take that Yeah, it'll extend below that we'll be fine All right, here we go. We haven't seen anything this far yet. <laughs> to you too, my friend. Just want to see if there's any like chest down here. There was, but it was all the way on this end and it didn't really have anything interesting. But hey, now we have it. I love surface chests. Oh, there's a meteor here. I don't have any, like, obsidian skull or anything, so it's not really safe for me to mine yet. Uh, can I even mine it? Oh, God. Yep, I can. That's a challenge for later. At least now I have it on my map. Ooh, strange plant. We have a lot of deserts. Wait, what is this? That's odd. Is there any purpose to this? I mean, I have to check everything. This is calamity. I have no idea what's what. No, this is just a normal cave, it looks like. Okay, can we, like, just... Where'd my glow sticks go? What is that? Okay, apparently it's nothing. Alright, back to the surface. We also have the dye trader now. So I can use those strange plants that I've gotten and get some cool dyes. Literally the coolest dyes in the game. I wonder if there's any new dyes in Calamity. That'd be interesting. Uh, another strange plant. We are getting so many of them. I love it. Okay, we've reached our ocean biome, which means we can get the angler. Also means I can... do this. Or we'll just loot all. Why not? Isn't there a new, like, ocean biome, too, in this mode? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna gather all this stuff. Because apparently, there was something I could do with all this. Yeah, I, like, I saw that there were some crafting recipes that used these items. 
So I might as well just gather them. God, this eyeball summon is so useful. I'm loving it. The acid rain did seem to be temporary, yes. It looked like it happened and gave me a, like a thing saying it was done. Gibbs of enemies. Okay, cool. Alright. That was that ocean. Do I have my strange plants somewhere? Because they just quick stacked on it. Did I put them in plant stuff? No, where did that just... Was it here? Oh, apparently it's here. Okay, materials. We'll put these. I don't really need the breathing rod. Drop your accessories here. Consumables will include... I don't really care for you. We'll put grenades there. You're garbage. You're garbage. I saw lightning again and I got scared. It's very possible we'll lose internet again. And if it does, I'll be right back. But right now we seem to be okay. <clears throat> Fingers crossed, you know. <clears throat> okay, now that we've seen all that, let's go this way. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. I love how fast I go when I... Combine the two. Wee. But with Hermes boots, it'd be even better. <clears throat> also, apparently there's like something that's way better than the Terra Spark boots. Which is really cool. Like you go like insane speeds with it and stuff. Unless it's I maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, it's very possible. I know very little about this mod. Okay, so I haven't gone this far yet. I've gone this far... Yes, I have, because I went over it. Because I was Gravitation Potion. Why is that on my map right there? Weird. Maybe something was glowing in there. There's an optional boss I can do right now? Yeah, sure, tell me about the optional boss. Uh, I'm just gonna continue exploring this way. And then I can check that out after I'm done. Oh, I see. The little thing... Oh, here's our dungeon. You know, I'm feeling confident. Should I feel confident? Probably not. My lack of range. I mean, that does eat way through his hands. No, maybe I'm ready for this. I can't hit him with the the debuff or whatever it is. Die! I'll shoot you with my gun.
Yeah, we got this in the bag. Crabulon. It spawned in the glowing mushroom biome. Okay. Ah, uh, this works. I can use the I the shield of Cthulhu to ram him and do a little bit of damage. I am getting kind of low on health, but this seems pretty easy to manage. Fifty glowing mushrooms at a crimson altar. Okay. All right, GG's. Bone glove, Skeletron mask. Okay, cool, we did it. Now I can go in the dungeon whenever I please. I'm not doing that right now, but that is something to keep in mind. The curse is said to only affect the elderly. After they are afflicted, they become an immortal vessel from an ancient demon of the underworld. Aha, uh -huh, is that what it is? Don't mind if I do, I guess. Thank you. Well, that's an interesting... That's an interesting tree! Oh! Well, what is going on with this? What? Why is there so much... What? Is that the ocean? Oh, this is wild. Hold on. This is just the ocean, but it's like flooding a desert and everything. Oh, that's funny. Let's see what's in here first. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? There's mech bosses, not like the hard mode war, but like anime mecha. Oh, I love that. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing interesting down here. Make our way back up to the ocean. The tree is a dam that's stopping our whole world from flooding. It really do be like that, though. Okay, my flare gun is useless for me now. Goodbye, flare gun. Fun while you lasted. Oh! A oh, is this it? I'm taking heavy damage from the acid rain. Oh, God. Is it because I'm in the water right now? Yes. It 100% is that. Uh, do I have any building blocks? I don't right now. Acid eel? Alright, improvising. This is some funky music right here. I like this. Ooh. Yeah, I'll hold on to the oh, the ocean breathy thing. You have no idea what I should expect? Me neither. Apparently this is an event that I'm currently doing fine at, though. They're dropping things. They're not doing any damage to me. I only really take damage when I'm in the water, and it seems, like, doable. Yeah, this is fine. There's rusted chests which have good loot? Okay. We'll keep an eye out. 
I fully intend to explore underwater despite it apparently being damaging to me. We got Arthur, Ar, Arth, Ar, ugh, Arthur the Clothier. Die. Get fucked. Do I have enough for mana crystals? I do. So figure scales are also apparently very strong crafting materials. Ooh, okay. Well, we're getting a lot from this event right now. So, so much for this being the ocean, you know? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's the dam that's stopping the sulfur sea from infecting my world. That's so funny. <clears throat> I wonder if it's the acid rain that's making me get hurt underwater, or if it's just the actual area itself. Oh, we're gonna need better range damage too, I think. Oh, interesting. Are they do they poison me? Excuse me, I'm trying to do something here. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Hey! I'm trying to fucking do you know what? Okay, I have wood. There we go. Get that little bit of extra regen. What are you, a nuclear toad? You know, I want to fuck up the nuclear toads. I don't care if I die in the process. Maybe I should. Oh, he's trying to steal my turf. You see this? I wonder, can they go through walls? Yes, they do. Okay, that actually hurt me more than anything. Experiment has been completed. We're at 83% right now. We'll be fine. This isn't a challenge, it's just uh, a waiting game. One thing I do like about uh, Calamity is apparently potions stack more. There's 46 in the stack right now. I believe they stop at 30 in the base game. Oh, double. Double whammy. I did it. I beat the sky fins. The sulfuric skies begin to clear. We did it. Nope, I still take a lot of damage under here. Hmm. Is there an item that I can craft or find that make me not take damage in the sulfuric sea? That's your job. That's your job to find for me. Oh, this is cool. This is like a whole ass thing over here. But what is, oh, the sulfur things. Oh, 
Oh, we're taking such heavy damage. What are you? Trasher. I want to kill it. Hey, buddy. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we need to figure out um, how to deal with the Sulfuric Sea. That's dope. That was so freaking wild. Okay, this is a weapon. This is a garbage. Sulfurous sand? I don't really need that. Skeletron mask. Nah. Parasitic scepter. Fires a spread of water leeches that latch on enemies. You know what? We'll do that instead of this, because that's only 8 magic damage. Whereas this is 12. So that is an upgrade. Um, materials. Put my scales in there, the bones. Uh, we'll, we'll put this. Mm, we'll put this in furniture. Okay, glowing mushroom, huh? We just need fifty. I have ten. Do we have a glowing mushroom biome on the map yet? I do. It is directly below base. I'm feeling beginning of a elevator. This won't be our permanent elevator. It'll just be a temporary... Temporary one right here. We'll make it a proper one at a later time. Oh yeah, let me get that uh, those glow sticks too. Did I put them in the consumable chest? I did. Perfect. Hate not having glow sticks on hand for underwater exploration. Oh yeah, weren't the wait 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 weren't there also the bars from the aqua level? What's that all about? Um... Fuck it, this is our new entry point. Materials, materials, materials. There we go. It was Victory Shard and Sea Prism, wasn't it? No. You can't become immune to the sulfur damage, but you can reduce the damage with a potion. Interesting. I'm listening. Was it not Sea Prism that gave me bars? Tracking disc. Wild. I thought there was a bar that I got from this stuff. Maybe. Okay, what was the victory shard? Where was it? Right here. Victide bar. Victory shard, coral, starfish, and seashell. I don't even know how I got the victory shard, though. It functions similar to a stronghold. Oh, boy. That's spooky to find out. <laughs> cool, as sh cool as shit, though. Let's be real. <clears throat> So I'm going to be coming back to it when I'm a little stronger, too. Is that where the abyss is that I keep hearing about? I don't need any more heart crystals, but you never know. Heart lanterns can be useful. Beating the Eye of Cthulhu unlocked the first tier. What What is the potion that I can do to reduce the damage? Or is it just going to be like an iron skin or something? It's so weird having like all these new biomes just existing on the map. What kind of trap is this? What 
kind of trap is this right here? Is that a boulder trap? What kind of trap were you? Oh, it's a crab statue trap. That's that's cute. Crab statues good to have for um machinery contraptions. One bottle of water, ten blood orbs, and an alchemy table. Alchemy table's in the dungeon. So I can start going into the dungeon, too. Start getting dungeon stuff. That'll really help me out a lot. That fire crawler. I also don't know what a blood orb is. And you can also wear sulfur armor. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, it might just be dungeon crawling time. I also haven't really been to the underground jungle yet. I'm just like forgetting all my like normal Terraria progression because I'm so focused on like these normal, I'm sorry, normal, these modded areas more than anything. Oh, is this going to connect with that other tunnel that I built? It looks like I'm a little bit off. I'm looking at the mini map up there. Yeah, we're gonna miss it. Oh well. So, sulfur armor. I probably wanna just do the potion then. Goodbye, torches. I knew thee well. I'm loving this ocean pendant. Just being able to have water breathing whenever I want it. God damn. Never knew how much you need it until you have it. Get, get out of here. Go. Thank you. All right, we're almost to the underground, the mushroom biome, I think. Yep, we're almost there. God, that's so cool looking at the map. I love that. That's so fucking cool. I love seeing new things on the map. I'm not used to that. It, ugh, it's like, it's like playing the game for the first time again, almost, which. After over 600 hours in Terraria, having that, like, playing the game for the first time feeling is so rare. Eh, let's get take them amethyst. Why not? I take them amethyst. Okay, don't knock me off track. I'm going straight down. Let me just mark my path before I do what I need to do here. This is a really weak biome. This is tiny. Like, there's not even anywhere for the mushroom things to grow. Oh, we, we gotta find a better biome than this. I can't even get the 50 things that I need. Fishing in the sulfur sea gives you abyssal crates. Ooh, that sounds good. That might be something that I look into doing, right? Okay, you know, I went all this way just for this goddamn biome. It's not even worth it. I said we just continue the elevator for right now. Maybe we'll bump into another one. Maybe we bump into a better one. And if not, then we, we still have a elevator, you know? Oh, is that another... Oh, a diamond crawler, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll get some diamonds. Give me that. Thank you. Oh my 
my god, I can't see. Still no, I'm, I'm looking at all these looking for Her Hermes boots, you know? Still nothing. Um, throw you out. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, stop it. You don't have to back to back challenge the bosses to tell me the general direction, take these swords and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. I am curious about them, though. So, I mean, like, new things are always exciting for me. It's not like I'm. I f have, like, feel like I'm obligated, you know? I'm doing it because it's fun. Oh, I want to do the optional ones, though. I like doing the optional ones, seeing new content. I love that. It's like a whole ass cave over there. So. Too bad we're doing a elevator right now. I don't have time for caves. I'm actually surprised we haven't found another glowing mushroom biome yet. They're usually fairly common. I usually run into two or three on my way through the to, uh, like making a elevator. You know what would be cool? If there were items you could get to unveil certain parts of the map. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I found another laboratory. Oh, that might not be good for me, though. Are there any turrets? There's no turrets. Okay. Alright, we got some dubious plating, mysterious circuitry, suspicious scrap. Looks like it may be part of a greater whole. Torches, coins, healing, bombs, and endurance potion. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, piggy bank. Please take all my stuff. Thank you. Anything in there that I need? Nope. whole lot of nothing. Let's keep going. That was cool, though. We went straight through the center of a laboratory, just completely by chance while making a elevator. I love it. That's a nice set piece. I'm quite a bit ahead. Oh, what are you? Ruby crawler. Give me those rubies, baby! Quite a bit ahead? Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't really ready for Skeletron, but I just said, fuck it, I'm strong, let me do it. Oh my god, it's Tim! Die, Tim! Give me your super cool hat. I'm a wizard now. I hate that. That doesn't really fit my look. Taking a detour before we continue our elevator. Hoping for Hermes boots. No Hermes boots. What's a man gotta do to get some fucking Hermes boots? Maybe I can craft them. Maybe I can craft all those hard to get um, accessories. Yeah, so my goal right now, we're gonna keep going down to make a elevator. Oh, are those rubies? I'll take those. I might upgrade to a ruby hook. Gemstones seem a lot more common in Calamity. They seem also very a lot more important, too. 
I don't know how true that is, but it seems to be the case. Oh, I could probably get obsidian for an obsidian skull, and then I can go get meteor stuff. So many options. Why? Oh god. Progressions basically Desert Scourge, Giant Clam, Eye of Cthulhu, Sulfurous Sea, Brain of Cthulhu, Skeletron. Oh cool. So yeah, I'm I'm kinda going out of order and doing my own thing. <laughs> well, not not really. I'm still fairly on track, I would say. I'm just surprised we haven't run into another uh, mushroom biome. I have the seeds. I could probably make my own, if I'm being honest. I might have to do that. That's how I get truffle anyway, so... Oh, we found a spider. We found a spider nest. Geyser trap. Just trying to see if the stylist is here. Doesn't appear to be. Sucks to suck, I guess, right? Okay, so where did we... We were all the way up there. Jesus. Okay. Alright, continue the elevator. Optional ones sprinkled in like King Slime, Krabulon, Old One's Army, and Queen Bee. Old One's Army. Um, did they change anything in Calamity? No, oh, fuck you. I'm using the Mining Potion. Just realized I didn't have my eyeball protecting me. Wait, there's more over there? Just looking for the stylus, don't mind me. Oh, dear lord. Okay, I'm not going to worry about Old One's Army, then, if they didn't change anything. Old One's Army is fun. I don't really think it gives anything worthwhile, though, from what I remember. Until, like, late game. And even then, there's perfectly fine alternatives. Especially with Calamity Mod. I feel like there's more we can get out of just doing Calamity Mod than doing Old One's Army. Ah, oh, that feel when you dig faster than the water can protect you. Ah, oh, fuck. Latency. What happened? I broke the water. Oh god, everything broke. That was weird. Alright, we made it to hell. And we didn't find another glowing mushroom biome. Sucks to suck. Demonic Bone Ash, okay. Well, we have a very nice 
underworld spawn. Yes, that was sarcasm in case you couldn't catch it. Yeah, let's fuck up hell. Go ahead. How far will it go? Will it go all the way across? Come on, you can do it. No, I think that's the farthest it goes. All right, cool. We made a elevator. I don't need you. I don't need you. Let's make a ruby hook. Yeah, boy. So much better. You guys have new items for me? What do you have? A lot of fucking potions. Thank you. What do you have? I don't see what's different here. Pumpkins. I can make pumpkin seeds. What about you? No idea. I can buy bait from him? That's dope. Okay. Very nice. Monic Bone Ash, we got one of those. You're not a material. Hmm. A lot of stuff clogging up my inventory right now. You know what? Let's go with this music instead. Don't need that. Get you, 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 you. Suspicious scrap. That's gonna go in the WTF Calamity chest. If I don't know what it is, it's going over there. You know what? The ha wizard hat can go in there despite not being an accessory. Oh, I can combine these, right? Oh no, it's those plus the ninja gear, isn't it? Okay. Is there a- there's no bestiary in this version of Terraria. I just noticed. Marty, I would really appreciate if you move. Thank you. Woof woof, my my dude, my freaking dude, I love you. Okay, so what are we looking to do? Maybe search for another underground mushroom biome. We can... Where do we want to search? Maybe I go down to that marble biome, right? Where we found that lab, and I kind of explore from there. When your glow sticks fall faster than you. Okay, so from here, let's head left maybe first. Okay. And we're just gonna do some underground exploration. There's a little house here. Also a loom here. I'll take that. Free loom. Still no Hermes boots. Starting to believe that they don't even exist, if I'm being honest. Uh, that's just death. Okay, you know what? Maybe there's less death in this direction. I'm gonna hold out and hope. Maybe we'll be okay. What 
What about this way? Oh, what a nice open cave. Okay, that was the extent of that cave. What about if we go to the right over here? Surely this is gonna have something. Also, you wanted me to collect these, I guess. Who knows if we need more, but... They'll probably be helpful in the long run. Nope, a whole lot of nothing. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to start mining in a random direction. Let's start from here. No. You know, we're gonna start, actually... We're gonna start from right up here. There's nothing down here, right? Oh, well, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna let you decide, actually. Did I beat the perforator? What are the perforators? It's possible that I did. I, you're just gonna have to tell me what they are. I don't have my bombs in my inventory. Fuck. You know what? Fuck this over or I don't need it. I was gonna say, uh, you can decide what we do. We can go to the underground jungle, or we can go to the dungeon. I fought them in the crimson. So I did. Oh, I never beat it, though. I can go back to that. Yeah, it totally. It, I had my ass handed to me when I fought it. But I'm stronger now. Yeah, let's do that. You know, I really need to just... There we go. You know what? I'm actually gonna bring some potions for the ride. Why not? Um... We'll do a life force, we'll do an endurance, we'll do hunter, thorns, swiftness, and regen. I don't have any iron skin, interestingly. That's fine. Yeah, with Krabulon, I'm thinking if we go to the underground jungle and start exploring, I might find another uh, glowing mushroom biome through that instead. That's also near the crimson, so... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll rematch that, dude. We'll go to the jungle. We'll fuck shit up. I just really need fucking Hermes boots. Wee. So here's our jungle. So it was like the, a thing that was just sitting in the crimson. So I'm guessing that has a random chance to spawn. So we're gonna spend some time just kind of going back and forth here. Could it spawn underground maybe? Oh, it's right here. Can't really reach him. I mean, the leeches, I guess, will do their business. Oh, right, this is where it fucked me up, right. But I'm stronger now.
Oh, that's the hive. Which means it summons those things. So we want to get rid of the hive first. Oh, God! Okay, that's new. Where is he? Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh, this is wild. The hive is almost dead. I'm just trusting my leeches to do damage over time right now. Wait for my mono regen. I, like I said earlier, I just I really need to invest in better long range weapons. The hive is low. The hive is low. Hive is dead. Okay, now we just have to worry about these two. Never mind. They vanish. Oh. Um. I didn't beat them. They just vanished. Was I supposed to? I, I mean, I saw another cyst over here. Was I supposed to kill them before I killed the hive? Okay. Weird. Alright, do we have a path to the underground jungle? We do. This game's fucking weird. My god, we got a wand of sparking! Yes! Best item in the game. The Blood Moon is rising. Oh boy, I wonder if Blood Moon is different. Yo, do I smell some Hermes boots? Maybe? I don't. My nose must be busted up from uh, fighting the perforator. There's a little jungle shrine. I'll take that. I did the opposite of what I should do. I should focus the worm dudes first. Oh, uh, okay. It uh, doesn't really have anything interesting for me. Ah, uh, okay. My bad. Here I was thinking, oh no, they're gonna keep spawning. I better kill the hive quick. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I have so much shit in my... No, I want the mud blocks, actually. That'll help me later. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I kind of realized I did something wrong, if I'm being honest. It's good to have that confirmation. Well, we found a hive. Oh. 
Okay, I keep saying I need better ranged weapons. I have ranged weapons, I'm just not using them. Oh, I know what ranged weapon I need. Let's deal with- let's deal with Queen Bee. Let me hug you! Queen Bee has a predictable pattern, so this should go pretty smoothly. I don't know if it's worth taking that damage, but... Oh well. I think the leeches are, like, stacking too, which is cool. That seems to do some really good damage over time. I also, however, I'm not built for magic stuff, so... I'm thinking of running a meteor armor set, if I'm being honest. With the meteor gun. Yeah, that's like 12, 12 plus damage every, not even every second, faster than that. And Queen be dead? Queen be dead. Okay, what are we getting rid of? You. B gun's pretty decent, I guess. Ooh, B mount. B gun, we got the beekeeper. That's really good damage. I'm sorry, Claws. I'm going to have to go for that. Hive pack. Jungle rose. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, fuck, what else do I get rid of here? Hardened honeycomb. Oh, it's rogue, a rogue weapon. I don't need that. All right, I feel Hermes boots in my future. Once we follow this railroad the other direction, not this way. This isn't going to give me Hermes boots. Nope. But I have to see what's over here. Oh, that is a big... Oh, look at my bee! Oh, I love it. What is that? Oh, three gold. And this leads me to my ocean biome that I was in before. Okay. Wow, our underground jungle sucks. But you know what? We should really explore it anyway. Wait, go back, go back. What was that? Oh, that's where I explored earlier. Damn, is it already 10.30? I gotta end stream soon. I've, I've lost track of time. I'm just getting so invested in this. I mean, we still have another half hour, so we still have time, but it's funny. Ah. 
Signs of a successful stream, if I do say so myself. When you're just so fucking invested in the game that you're playing. Feels goddamn good. Okay, you know what? We're actually gonna go over to this house over here. Because I don't have any wood for platforms. And I got a piggy bank I want to drop stuff in. Okay, piggy bank. And deposit. Thank you. You're also just super invested in it. You're just like, oh, what happened to the time? Weird. Okay, so maybe we can explore the jungle from here. Find some more cool stuff. Yo, there was just another house right here. Wild. Hermes boots! Let's fucking go. That's amazing. I can finally move fast. God damn. Okay, I do still want to explore down here though a bit. It'd be cool if we can find the jungle temple. Just so that we have like a, a lock on it of where it is. Assuming it's even relevant in this mode, I don't even know. Probably. Thank you. There's two iron anvils right next to each other. There's another shrine down here. Maybe we can find an aglet of wind. That would be pretty huge. But I also think that's one that I can craft, if I remember correctly. No. No, I'm thinking of the aglet itself. Uh, oh, got the anklet of the wind. Oh, that feels so good. That's going to be good for upgrading our boots. I say we just keep going down in here. See what else we can find. Oh, I am actually wrecking shit with the beekeeper. Another bees hive right here. Oh. There's another shrine there. Is there an easy way to get to it without digging? Yes, right over here. Don't mind if I do. Um, what can I loot? Not a whole lot. Do I have anything I can... Yes. Gotta love the, the full inventory hustle, the, the shuffle. You're not a true Terraria player if you're not always struggling with your inventory constantly at all times. Ooh, a lava charm! Oh, that's dope. That's really good. Don't care about that. Harpy statue. Yeah, we'll switch out for the Mitch, the Mitch Rahogany. Rich Mahogany. Quick stack what we can, sort items. Get rid of you, don't need dirt, don't need stone. Is there anything else here I just straight up don't need? I guess you. Eh, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, once I get the... Oh, you know what? Next Blood Moon, I need to grind on the surface. Because we can get the money trough. And that's easier than carrying around the piggy bank. Okay. 
what are you? Eh, that was alright. We're running into a lot of a lot of hives. This is a really long railroad. Wow, okay. Surprisingly, did not run into a single, um, whatchamacallit, glowing mushroom biome. I can get obsidian, make an obsidian skull, make an obsidian horseshoe. <clears throat> then I can go for the meteor. I know I have more than enough obsidian, but again, it's calamity. I don't know what else I'm gonna possibly need obsidian for. Did we like inadvertently go past one at some point that I just was blind to? Nope. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, a Medusa statue. Hello. I'll take one of those. Why not? I don't know if that's useful to me at all, but hey, I'll take it. Any of the spawn statues, I'm fine with. You never know when you'll need them. Eh, fuck it. Okay, so accessories. Give me those rocket... Oop. Give me those rocket boots. Give me the at. Okay, so we have the lightning boots now. What more can I do with lightning boots? Uh, ice skates. Okay. Goodbye, mushrooms. You were really cool, but... I mean, it was it was good, but I think we'll be okay without it. The boots are just so much more useful to me. Oh, shit, we got the robot hat. Nice. Flare gun, I'm just gonna put... You know what? Materials, we got some materials. The music in this game is very sad. I just felt like I needed to point that out. Very, just, sad music. I like it, though. It's beautiful. That would be under the furniture, since I have the other shit under the furniture. I should probably do, like, a statue's chest. Honestly, I could do with a lot more, um, inventory management going on here. I could probably do that off-stream, though, if I'm being honest.
Okay, right, let's give the strange plants to the dryad. Not the fucking dry, the die trader. Uh, wrong one. You. Wait, do you have something else? Oh, you sell the weapons. I could go for a mini shark build. I do like me my mini shark. You know what? Fuck it, we're going mini shark. How many bullets can I stack? Okay! <laughs> Fucking hell! Sounds good. That's very new, and I very much love that. So now we have a good ranged weapon. Band of star power, she just sells it now? Dope. Copper die, shadow die, and reflective copper die. Shadow dog? <laughs> so spooky. Golden dog. It's a golden retriever! <laughs> I'm so proud of that joke. Oh, uh, that made me really happy for some reason. What's the die trader's house? Where are you living, buddy? Right here? Here, we're gonna have a die chest right here. Did you enjoy my pun? I really enjoyed my pun. Okay, so armor. What armor should I be going for right now? I guess is a good question. Uh, we'll take you. I wonder if I can combine any of my other things. Well, I can combine the balloon with the sandstorm in a bottle. That'll be good. Um, what about f the pendant and... Okay, they're not listed as materials, which means we probably can't combine them with anything, but... I just feel like I need to check anyway. Flipper and diving helmet. I do have a diving helmet. We could do that. Um... Diving gear, and then I think I can combine that with... The jellyfish necklace, right? Yeah. Um, you know what? It grants the ability to swim and it extends underwater breathing. I don't really need that since I can already breathe underwater. And I have so much mo motion under underwater now, too. How good is the sulfur? Oh, I didn't even look. Um... Where is the sulfur? Sulfuric scale? Can I do anything with it right out of the get-go? No. But what else do I need for it? Six defense versus... Okay, crimson's a little bit better. But it also increased rogue damage. It's a rogue outfit, it looks like. Nearby players are immune to the sulfuric poisoning. I'd like to collect all the music boxes. That'd be pretty fun. That could be one of my goals late game. Oops. Um. I say we go back to the... My brain is shutting off. Give me a second. Defeat the... The cyst. The, the perforator. Now that I have better weapons. I don't have great armor. You know what? No, I need to go back and get potions first. Oh. 
Regen, Swiftness, Iron Skin. We have Iron Skin now, that's good. Thorns, Hunter, Life Force, Endurance. That'll be good. Did I ever get the Sunken Sea schematic? Yes, I got the schematic. I like my bombs. I want to hold on to those. Uh, materials. That's what I'm looking for. That bee is not any faster. <laughs> It's good for, like, a little extra flight, but that's it. Like, if I want to... Oh, he can go quite far. Wait, can he just go... No, okay, it's not indefinite. That's good to know. As soon as I beat the perforators, got it. It gives me good stuff. Yeah, this should, in the I have much better weapons now. I should be fine against the perforators. I'm multi-classing. I'm unstoppable. Alright, baby, where you at? All right, little sis. Sist. I'm ready for the assist. There it is. Oh my god, look how much damage that's already doing. Oh my god. Oh, we're so much better. Holy shit, that's so good. There's one down. I <laughs> down 30% health already. I'm amazing. I'm unstoppable. What's that all about? What is this about? What is that? Why are you doing that? I don't like that. I'm gonna kill you if you don't sp spawn. There we go. Listen, don't kill that hive until I'm done with this dude, okay? Oh, this might accidentally kill the hive. You know what, eyeball, I'm sorry. You're a great summon, but like, stop. And that's it. There we go. The ground is glittering with cyan light. What else did we get? An abomination of... Oh, let me summon you back in. An abomination of commingled flesh, bone, and organ infested primarily by blood slurping worms. Ugh. Crimson seeds. We got bloodstained glove. Stealth strikes. Don't care. Bloody worm tooth. Increases damage reduction. Increased melee stat. 10% increased damage reduction. Melee stats went below 50% health. We got blood samples. All right. Let's fight another one. 
Let's just stock up on uh, what they give me, right? That seems useful. Especially since I kicked so much ass now. I actually had to like stop my summons. I'm like, yo, 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 don't kill that. Don't kill that. Actually, is it worth going for another one? I don't even know. At no point did I feel like I was in any kind of danger, so... I guess it doesn't hurt. So the planetoid, planetoid thing has a new schematic. Okay, I can, you know what, let's go there. Oh, I can use the schematic now. Okay. You don't appear to have anything new. Why do you keep lying to me? Oh, encrypted schematic, is that the one that I get up there? It requires a code breaker with basic description. Yeah, I don't- I can't do that yet. Um, I have this schematic, but I already have it, because I picked it up and put it in my inventory. That means I already have the um, recipes from it. So what can I do with the blood sample? Uh, bloody worm food. Oh, cool, I can summon another one just like that. Carnage Ray? Cool. Aorta. Fires homing blood when enemy... Oh, it's a yo-yo. Okay. Bloody rupture. Sausage maker. Vein buster. Eviscerator. Snail speed. <laughs> Converts musket balls into slow-moving blood clots as extra damage enemy shot at point blank. Tooth ball and blood clot staff. Wild. Okay. The C schematic lets you make the code breaker? How do I make the code breaker, though? How am I supposed to know, like, what does it? Are these also- hold on, these are also materials. Let's see what I can combine them with. Bloody worm scarf. Ah, the worm scarf and a soul of night. Cool. That sounds really overpowered. Wire and Mithril gives you an electrician's glove. It's cool. Area light ore spawns in the world now? Okay. This is so much to take in. Woo wee! Alright. <laughs> Actually, can I get a new helmet? No, because I don't have tissue samples. Right, okay. Also, quick shout out to the lurkers. Anyone who's just been vibing in the background. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Hope you're enjoying my insanity with Terraria Calamity while we're, like, racking our heads through it. I'm glad that you could be a part of the experience in your own way as well. We do be loving the lurkers, though. So many fallen stars out here. Nice. So where I'm going now, I'm gonna go fight the Brain of Cthulhu again. Because then I can make, uh, I can finish my armor set. That's my current goal. I could probably get a better armor set at this point, but you know what? Might as well finish what I've started. I also can, I can go to the meteor as well. I just realized. Don't know much of what's going on, but you like it? That's totally fine. Hey, as long as you're enjoying it, that makes me happy. The tooltip for the C schematic will explain it. Okay. There's so many of these fucking things. It okay, will break into this one right here. What 
What did that give me? Another Crimson Heart? Cool. Another Crimson Heart? Cool. Can I combine all of them for the Omega Crimson Heart? Don't hurt me. No. I'm scared. It's so dark. I don't know if I can beat him. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's do that again. I, don't, I guess I don't really need to, but I, I just kind of want to, you know? I've gone mad with power. Oh! Look at this! Look what I found! Sure, I'll fight another perforator. You know what? Summon all of them at once. See if I care. I may potentially care. No, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, this may actually potentially be bad for me in the long run. Yeah, Eyeball, you're causing some trouble. This is a cool music, though. I, I always heard that Calamity Mod had exceptional music. It's still somehow taking me by surprise with how good the soundtrack is, though. Yeah, we took a decent amount of damage here. Can we, like... Clear this out real quick. Give me that regen real quick. You know, you just kind of do your own thing, buddy. I'm just going to chill here and regen my health. That should be fine. Yo, welcome in, Monroe. 25% it spawns? Yeah. We're actually not doing so hot right now on health. Four seconds till potion cooldown. Get some free hits in. We'll be okay. Oh, did we kill it? No. Something else broke. There we go. GG's. Eviscerator. And we also got the Aorta. Nice. How much damage does that do? 30? And the B. The B. The B. The B, though. The B. Okay, I actually have to end the stream, though. <laughs> We'll fight one more uh, Brain of Cthulhu, and then I gotta end. What did that give me? Panic Necklace, okay.
Hello, Psycho Sam. Welcome in. You're here just in time for the end of the stream. But don't you worry. Tomorrow night we will be doing more Terraria Calamity Edition at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you'll have an opportunity to watch more. Don't worry, my friend. You got the perfect mod to play afterwards. I actually, I have other plans for different games after this, but maybe down the road I could check out some other Terraria mods if this seems to be interesting enough for people. Out of curiosity, what mod? Is it like uh, the Sol Fargo Soul mod or like uh, Thorium or something else? Mod of Redemption. Okay, I've never even heard of that one. I was expecting like one of the like huge ones that I've heard. Oh, I got the jellyfish necklace. Sorry, brain going in 500 directions right now. Uh, I'll take that. You know what? We'll take this. Sure. There we go. Mod of Redemption is really good, but kind of story. I like story driven. I think that's great. Oh, uh, so much shit here. Don't quack. So many crimson hearts. Jesus Christ. All right, merchant. Um, I'm gonna sell you a bunch of crap. I do like the parasitic scepter. Get rid of you. Get rid of these. This. That. That. Not using the Undertaker, let's be honest. The Eviscerator is powerful, but it's not what I'm looking for. I already have one of those. I'm not going to use that. Not going to use those. Okay. But now we can make the, uh, the armor. Boom. It relies on you using Adam to figure stuff out? What is Adam? Or should I say, who is Adam? Alright, well, uh, that was pretty dope. Watching someone play it, play to the seed of infection. Your, your spe- I like your funny words, silly mystery person. Uh, grab those. Oh, no, I don't have enough for the fishing pole. I'll save up for it. Oh, it's all good. Oh, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. I don't need these anymore. Uh, merchant. Give me a fuck ton of money for this. There we go. Now that's playing smart. Let's fucking go. It's a boss? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll, um... I can't make any promises that I'll play it, if I'll be completely straightforward and honest with you. However, uh, I'm interested. It seems it seems cool. I have uh, a whole plethora of other games and stuff that I, I'm looking to play. So, we'll see how it, plans, how it uh, pans out. How it plans out. Oh, I already fucking had a stopwatch, too. I did not have a life form analyzer, however. Let's sell our duplicates. Don't need you. Uh, don't need the aglet. Oh, it's a character from the mod. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Don't need tissue samples anymore. Okay, cool. That's probably going to do it then. Man, I want to keep going, but I do have to stick to my schedule because otherwise I'll be on all night and I, I do have other things I need to do. All right. Friends, family, cohorts, co co cohonks, etc., etc. That closed out the music. Please come back. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another Terraria Calamity Edition stream. Uh, we'll be doing more tomorrow night as well as Saturday night. And uh, more Minecraft on Sunday. Collecting every item in the game. With well, that being said, make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you follow on Twitter. All the fun shenanigans. I'm going to have to stop the music. I'm sorry. Because I need to do something else. Um... Oh god, what happened to everything?
Here, I'll put the music on here. There we go. It's gonna- oh god, it's gonna double. Save and exit. Save and exit. Exit! Fuck, okay. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I don't remember. There was a reason I clicked over here. We're gonna raid somebody, that's why. Join the Discord, follow on Twitter, uh, give you a little kiss goodnight. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, you guys are great. We're gonna raid... You know what? Let's go to Chips, he's doing modded Minecraft. We'll go from modded Terraria to modded Minecraft. Why not? He's a nice dude too, I love his content. He's very, very chill, very dope. I like him. Let's go show our love and support, and I'll see you guys over in his channel. Have a good night, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have yourself a scootiful rest of your night. Bye bye now. Do we want to do a raid call? I can't really think of a good raid call. Yeah, we'll be okay. Just whatever your heart is calling out is what you're going to call out in his chat, as long as it's appropriate and, and kind, you know? That's the important part. Oh, is that what my fucking Twitch did? Weird. Sorry, it was, uh, it refreshed everything earlier, and I was confused why. It just opened up a new tab for some reason. Anyway, I'm ending stream. Goodbye!